Look at the mass of people down there. This time two days ago, there were just over 4,000 people. There are now upwards of 11,000. We are talking nearly a tripling of the numbers in just 48 hours. There are hundreds of people crossing from Mexico as we speak right now, arriving into the United States illegally. Wow, that is a lot of people down there. Fox News reporter Bill Malugin capturing this shocking footage from the International Bridge in Del Rio, Texas, where up to 11,000 migrants are waiting to be processed. Here now to react, former White House press secretary and co-host of Outnumbered, my friend Kaylee McEnany. Kaylee, uh, so let me just start with this. We know that the policies from the Biden administration remain in Mexico, catch and release. These are all things that the Biden administration reversed from the Trump administration. This latest wave of people coming through are from Haiti. Again, the result of a policy uh, enacted by the Biden administration, this time to end deportations of flights to Haiti. Um, why, why is the Biden administration doing this? I mean, it just it's so obvious that it's deliberate. What's behind it? Well, I think they're trying to placate their far left base. They've already gotten a fair amount of criticism uh, from that plank of the base. That plank of the base saying roll back Title 42 entirely. They've rolled it back in part, and that's led to this unmitigated disaster. Uh, to put it, to quantify it, Rachel, Title 42 is that provision that allows us to expel migrants who arrive at our border due to public health reasoning, which obviously there's a big public health concern with COVID um, on the border there, among other things. Well, only 44 percent of those who have arrived, a record number of arrivals, more than 200,000 two months straight, only 44 percent were expelled with Title 42. What that means is for two months straight, Rachel, two months, we have released 100,000 illegal immigrants into the interior of the country. That is a stunning, stunning number. Not to mention those images I'm looking at, Rachel, uh, there's human excrement under there. There's sewage. Yeah. Uh, it is deplorable conditions. Where's the great humanitarian Kamala Harris? Yeah, absolutely. And in Haiti, the vaccination rates are dismally low. Um, so it's especially mm -hmm. um, troubling in terms of public um, health. I want to move to another topic. Um, it, this is about General Milley, who is now defending um, his call to the Chinese, our enemies, um, trying to warn them about a possible or letting them know that he would warn them if we were to ever strike them. Um, here he is yeah. defending that call. These are routine calls in order to uh, discuss issues of the day, to reassure uh, both allies and adversaries uh, in this case, uh, uh, in order to ensure strategic stability. Kaylee, do you believe that he was taking orders or directions from Nancy Pelosi to place this call? Uh, what's behind it? And also, do you think it's treasonous? You know, I've been clear, I don't trust Bob Woodward, never have, never will, so I hope this is not true. But what makes me believe that the allegations of Bob Woodward are true are very simply this. Millie has not denied that those words were yeah. said on the call. The words on the call were, we will warn you in advance of an attack. China, we know Secretary of Defense Miller said he never authorized that call. There was a January call. Where's the denial? You can provide all the context you want, General Milley, but I'm waiting for a denial. Not to mention one other point, Rachel. I talked to a top head in the intel community, former intel community under President Trump, and he said the bigger allegation is the nuclear meeting, the fact that General Milley inserted himself into the chain of command and then said, let's serve circumvent the chain of command. All decision making needs to run through me on our nuclear strikes. That's not how it works. That is not how it works. He is not in the chain of command and he put himself there. And for that, he has absolutely no excuse. Well, let's hope he's held accountable. I think the American people are just growing really tired of seeing so many egregious acts, in this case, something that actually undermines our democracy and nobody ever being held to account. Kaylee, it's always great having you on the show. Thank you for coming on this morning. Thanks, Rachel.